Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Our date today is May 17, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on swear. In Numbers 32, uh, if a man vow a vow unto the Lord or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that comes out of his mouth. Deuteronomy 6.13 Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. Isaiah 48.1 Hear you this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. James 5.12 But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay be nay, lest you fall into condemnation. So what I'm getting here is when the Israelites made an oath, they were, they were to swear to it, which would bind it and make it a bond. God made a covenant with Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and King David. They all did swear and make a bond with God to live for Him. If we swear or make a bond to somebody, truly mean it. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay lest you fall into condemnation. If you vow a vow to the Lord God, it is an oath to bind your soul and to bound you, and you should not break it. We also need to be held accountable for our vows or bonds with God and others. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.